So what's going on guys, welcome to another tutorial with Adobe Edge Enemy. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to create some music controls. Now this is a new feature in Edge Enemy where you can control music and audio and I think it's pretty cool. So we go to File, Import, and in my tutorial folder here I have four buttons. I have an audio, mute, pause, and play button and I also have a music file. So we're going to select all the files, select open. And by the way with the new Edge Enemy you can import MP3s and this is the new feature we're talking about. So the first thing that I'm going to do is bring the buttons onto the stage and we have one over here for audio. And then we have a mute button. Pause and play. Now for the play button, I'm going to right click on this and select open actions and then select click. And then over here we have some different options for audio. I'm going to select play audio. In quotations, I'm going to type in music, and that's because down here, that's the name of my file. And you can also see it over here where the elements panel is showing. Next, I'm going to right click on this pause button and open actions, select click, pause audio, and do the same thing, type in music. Open actions, select click, then select toggle mute. Again, we're going to type in music. The user could click this button twice, you know, go back from mute to audio, but I have two buttons here. It's really about what you want to do. So I'm going to select click, toggle mute, and again, we're going to type in music. And then one more thing, we want to change the cursor when someone selects these buttons. So select all of them, and we're going to select the pointer. Control enter to test this. So all the buttons work, we have a play, pause, and we have an audio on, and a mute button. So that's pretty much it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Cheers.